Want to take a look at my slide storage system? I'll tell you, it's elaborate. Well, oh, there's a good one. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't that nice? I don't have any idea what's in there or what condition there, and there's got to be a better way. So I found Ann Millman. Now, Ann, you teach a class at the New York Botanical Garden in, in slide storage and organization. That's right. Is this the way to do it? Well, I think you need a little help. A little help. <laughs> this looks like the most common way that I've seen so far. Well, this is an excellent way. It's called a carousel. And uh, it comes in two different sizes, depending on how many slides you have to store, either 80 or 140. And I would recommend this as an excellent way to, to show slides sure. and store them permanently uh, once you have them organized. You can't just put them in here in any old order, because then uh, when you show them, they won't make sense. Probably the first step is to look at them on a, on a light board and then put them in here. That's right. And the only trouble I see with this, if you do have thousands of slides, and many of the folks that are taking pictures do, these are a little expensive for just everyday storage, aren't they? Yes, I would say put your best pictures in here, the okay. ones that you really want to show off to your friends and family. But don't use this method for either getting your slides ready sure. or for putting in those slides that are not really the best. Okay, and overall we can consider this a long-term storage system. Yes, okay. although it is, besides being a little expensive, it also takes up a lot of space. Sure. This is a fairly common way to store slides, these pages. Right, they're called slide storage uh, pages. Good name for them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they consist of uh, little plastic sleeves that you can stick your slides into, and if you put them up against a light source or a light box, you can look at the whole collection of slides immediately. And as importantly, you mentioned for the carousel, it take up a lot of space. This doesn't take up a whole bunch of space, and you can put them in a, a loose-leaf notebook. Yes, they have uh, holes at the end, and you can put them into any kind of loose-leaf binder. Now, one thing I have heard about these, there, there is a possibility your slides can be damaged by these pages. Well, actually, it's not so much that they'll be damaged. Uh, these are protective pages. Uh -huh. However, uh, the material that they're made out of can sometimes interact with the slides. So you shouldn't use these for more than a year or two. Okay, all right. Okay. What are these little doodads? Is that technical uh, photography language? <laughs> okay, these are individual slide sleeves. And these are used a lot by uh, professionals who handle their pictures a lot. That's, well, it takes a little coordination to get it in. There we are. There you are. Good. It's good for what? Mailing and well, basically Well, it's just... good for anything that you're going to handle a lot or if you're going to send it somewhere. It protects the, sl the slide, keeps fingerprints off it, keeps dust off it. That's a very important thing because slides have a kind of static and sure, dust sure. is very quickly attracted to them. Now, so far we've dealt with the carousel, which could be considered long term, although it takes up a lot of space. The pages, which are more of a short term type of an arrangement. But if we're talking about a good filing system, that's where these boxes come in. Well, these are very good for, for the secondary slides, the slides that you don't really plan to show, but you want to keep for sentimental reasons or if you're a professional uh, as second pictures of other things sure. that you've taken. And, Ann, we've got titles on here, different uh, areas. You can just scribble them in, just like we've done here. Right. I see wool, people, crops. Whatever you'd like, just so you know where your slides are. That's right. And by having this in some semblance of order, either alphabetized or whatever, and put them into a box or sh like this or a shoe box, okay. you can very quickly find the slides that you're looking for should you need them. Now, and all kidding aside, uh, that's not really my storage system for slides. But one thing I would ask, once we, whatever system we decide upon, where should I put my slides? Well, the most important things to consider are temperature and uh, it should be in a cool place preferably in a dark place and in a, in a dry place so that the slides themselves will be protected. Okay, some place that has a lot of humidity, like the basement, even though it's dark, that's probably out. Not good. Okay, no. and say the attic, if it's not heated, that's probably out as well. Well, heat is not uh, critical. You can keep it in a cool place. It just shouldn't be damp and it shouldn't be dusty. Okay, so that's no extremes of conditions are no, very important. That's right, very, okay. very important. Otherwise, your slides will get destroyed. All right, well, I'm going to put my uh, slide collection <laughs> back together here, Anne. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay.